Hello everyone. Most of us know now. Yesterday, our finance minister delivered an interim budget for the 2025 financial year. So, before seeing our regular pre-market stuff, let's look at the budget in detail and to some extent, who I think will get benefit and who may not. Again, this is just an interim budget for three months. Then the final budget will be delivered on July after the election. So this budget is just a guidance, but still it's massive. So covering entirely in 10 odd minutes is very much difficult. So let's discuss just five important takeaway points. Just a disclaimer, again, I'm not going to do it from politics point of view, rather from the stock market perspective. First point, very common, almost all the finance news websites has praising this. For FY 2024, I mean on the current fiscal year, a year ago, the fiscal deficit target was was set as 5.9% but the present government achieved it as 5.8%. To be honest, this is really good despite there was not lot of public sector companies de-investment. I mean, the usual Indian government way was they spend lot of money then they will adjust the tally by selling the government asset. That haven't happened this fiscal year. That's the first very important positive. And for the next fiscal year, they reduced the fiscal deficit target to just 5.1%. And the positive surprise here is market expect the government to borrow at least 15 lakh crore rupees. But as a surprise, they said they are planning to borrow only 14.13 lakh crore rupees. All this which I consider really good and commendable. Just for info, this year the borrow is 15.4 lakh crore rupees. Here, they are reducing the future borrowing, good, but it would be better if they announced some measures to reduce the interest payment for the already borrowed loan means. I mean, if required, please pause and have a look. The total next fiscal year government expenditure is 47.66 lakh crore rupees. In that near 24%, around 11 lakh crore rupees, Indian government is just paying as interest. And every year increasing this interest rate, making me a bit nervous. Maybe in the July month budget, we may expect some. That's the first takeaway. Second one, in the present financial year, the infrastructure development budget allocation is estimated as 9.5 lakh crore rupees. That for the next fiscal year, it increased to 11.11 lakh crore rupees. This extra capital allocation is positive for all big infrastructure companies like LNT, NTPC, etc. Third, they announced 2 crore new house buildup in addition to the existing 3 crore target. So these will be positive for the cement companies and the housing finance companies. Fourth, they allocated 1 lakh crore rupees as innovation fund which Indian government expect to give as a 50 year interest free loan. I expect this will benefit HAL, again LNT, BHEL and Bharat Dynamics. Fifth, losers, the concessional corporate tax rate 15% for manufacturing companies was not extended. So that now from April onwards will increase to 22%. Hence, to some extent, it will affect all the manufacturing. Then the second biggest loser is fertilizer companies. Present financial year, fertilizer subsidiary is 1.89 lakh crore rupees. And that for the next fiscal year, it reduced to 1.64 lakh crore rupees. So this will affect negatively to the fertilizer company stocks. These are my five key takeaways from the budget. Overall, the budget is more of the balanced one. Hence, market-wise, Nifty also traded and closed to near flat. However, individual stocks did react to the budget. Especially because of this increased fiscal discipline, Indian government's 10-year bond demand increased significantly, which in turn reduces the bond yield to near 7%. Again, here this will benefit all the banks, especially the public sector banks in India, since they are the one who handles the government bonds. Thus, public sector bank yesterday increased to over 3%, whereas reality, media and metal dropped around 1%. About institution, still somewhat FIS trade value was higher compared to their historical. Yesterday, their gross purchase and sales value is around 20,000 crore rupees. As a net, they net sold for 1,080 crore rupees, whereas DIA net bought for 870 crore rupees. Then about European market, because of the US Fed chairman's not so market friendly comment on the previous night, all four European markets major index closed negative. However, US market did the U-turn. I mean, before the US market opening, there was some report stating that market already factored no interest rate cut in the March month. 
In addition, before their market opening, London Stock Exchange Group (LSEG) released the report that for the December quarter so far, 208 companies in the S&P 500 companies released the earnings, and 80% of them did beat the analyst estimation. So they revised the S&P 500 full year earnings growth to 6.4% year on year basis, which a month ago they predicted only 4.7%. This new high earnings growth sets the positive tone. Then, at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, Institute of Supply Management released the manufacturing PMI data. Here, market expects the same contraction as December month, around 47. However, the data came as in surprise as 49.1. In response to that, 10-year bond yield dropped massively from above 4% to 3.87%. As we discussed a lot of times, drop in ten-year bond yield is always favors the market. So U.S. market last night closed super positive. Dow Jones increased 0.97 percent, S&P 500 up by 1.25 percent, Nasdaq rallied 1.3 percent. In case of VIX, it dropped below 14. So the U.S. market closed on the positive note. On top of that, Facebook, Amazon, and Apple all this big three released their earnings after the U.S. market close. In response to that, in the aftermarket offline trading, Facebook increased 14% and Amazon increased 8%. However, Apple dropped 3%. Overall, I would say the aftermarket results added additional positivity. In response to that, Gift Nifty early morning increased massively. At 3 a.m. Indian Standard Time, it closed at 21,914. Yesterday at the time spot market close the premium was just 50 points if we consider 50 points premium then it's indicating the gap up opening of 150 points because now we got 21 more trading sessions remaining i expect the premium today to increase around 100 points so considering 100 points premium it's indicating the gap up opening of 80 to 120 points i mean if market believes in the positive trend means then the premium has to increase above 80 points if today premium stays in the same place around 50 points then i would say it's a trap see how come a positive trend will sustain if there is not enough premium in the future market for remaining 21 more days trading anyway that's my view i can be wrong as well regarding indian adr in line with the us market positivity except wipro all other three rallied between 1.5 to 3% even wipro also increased 0.6% so overall as a summary there is nothing in the budget that is against overall market the us market closed super positive as 10 year bond yield dropped again from above 4% to below in line with that all adr indicating the positive trade and gift nifty based on the premium it's indicating the gap up opening of 82 150 points however earnings wise bajaj finance net profit comes below the expectation so that will be on focus moving on as per stock open interest indus tower india cement lnt exide industries and asian paint got an increase in open interest along with the negative close indicates the short build up on the other hand indigo rbl bank india hotel sbi life insurance sbi and canara bank got an increase in open interest with a positive price close indicating the long build up about the things to look out UPL Delivery Bank of India LIC Housing Finance Torrent Pharma and Engineers India are some of the major Indian companies earnings results are scheduled to release today in terms of macro there is not any that i'm aware of before and during our market hours however in after market hours in the night for us lots of very very important macros are scheduled to release such as average hourly pay increase data non farm payroll addition data and unemployment rate are some of the items we need to keep an eye out today coming to technical nifty opened 50 points on the positive note throughout the day i won't say it's volatile but i mean it's just irregular and closed 28 points down thus on the daily chart nifty formed a short bearish candlestick with minor upper and lower shadow and it is expected to face resistance at 21850 and if it manages to go past then it might hit 22000 again support wise at present the 20 day simple moving average is around 21600 hence that will be as a crucial level 
However, if Nifty slips below 21,600, it can decline to 21,500 to 21,400. In case of Bank Nifty, it opened 170 points gap up and reclaimed to the 46,000 mark and closed 192 points higher. Thus, on the daily chart, it formed Doji candlestick pattern with above average volumes, indicating indecisiveness among buyers and sellers. However, the daily momentum indicator has triggered a positive crossover, which is a buy signal and is likely to provide support towards the up move. Hence, the more probable chance for Bank Nifty is likely to move higher towards 46,570 to 46,800 in the short term. On the weekly options front, the maximum call option operators was at 21,700 strike, followed by 22,500 and 21,800, with meaningful new call option rating at similar strikes in similar sequence. Thus, from the options data indicates that 21,700 expect to be the trend decider and near term resistance is at 21,800. Whereas on the put side, the maximum open interest was at 21,700 strike, followed by 21,000 and 21,500, with new put option rating at 21,700 strike, then 21,000. Hence, with support is at 21,500. So that's all in this video. Hope you all got some useful information. Please consider subscribing the channel and liking the video, so it will help me beat the YouTube algorithm and also motivate me to do more. Please don't make an investigation based on this as much as a peer issued advisor. I am doing this for me and viewers' educational purpose only. Thanks for watching.